Hi, Fire Signs Tarot Twins here. Welcome to your Let's Spy on Your Lovers Tarot reading. Let's do some spying. I am being joined by Black for the Tarot. Hi guys, so we are going to be doing some spying today. Yes, we are. So Aries, Sag, Leo, if you're watching, this is going to be two different readings. Black Feather's going to look after your current person. That's so, right. So we'll yeah, we'll spy on your current um, person, your current romantic. Okay, the energy. one that you want to get with, mm -hmm. the one that you're in a courtship phase with, the one you're dating or married to. If you want to spy on them and see what's going on with them, that's going to be on their side, and my side is going to be your ex. Okay, so if you're interested in the ex, if you're still hung up, if you're still wondering about them, if you're in no contact, or if you're um, just plain curious, yeah, this could be for you. So um, don't forget to check out Black Feather's page as well. I'll link all the details below in the show more section. Um, otherwise, let's get straight into it. Okay, guys. Um, so we're going to begin with your current romantic energy. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle here. And we'll see um, what it is that you might need to know about your current what person. Are they, okay. What are they up to? What Where are they, they going? Exactly. What are they doing? What can the tarot reveal about that? So we'll see what's going on with your person. Oh, I feel like this card has come out here. It's wanted to come out. You've got the pages, um, page of cups. I'm going to say page of swords here. Okay. The knight of wands here. The seven of wands. Okay, the nine of pentacles, the king of cups, and the two of wands. Okay, so there's a lot of fire energy here, okay, which tells me it's quite a primal energy. So there's a lot of a lust, a lot of attraction here, um, quite a strong energy of attraction here. This intense attraction here could also indicate, because of all of this fire energy here and in combination with uh, the messages the cards here are heralding, heralding um, I am seeing that it could indicate a twin flame connection. Okay, so your person here, they're definitely, there's a sense of curiosity here, okay? Um, I feel like your person could very well, your current person is very curious about you. They want to get to know you. They want to explore the depths of this connection um, a little bit more deeper. Um, a sense of curiosity purely because I feel like they find you very intriguing. You may be like, I feel like you may not be their usual type. I get this fish out of water scenario with the page of cups. So maybe, you know, you're, they're not the, you're not the type that they usually go for, or there's some sort of, um, it's a different kind of setting here that's taking place. But I definitely feel like your person here, I mean, you're, we're doing the spying, we're taking a look at their energy, but I feel like this person is just as curious, just as intrigued, just as interested in wanting to get to know you here. And I want to interrupt there. To me, the King of Cups is like someone's falling. I get the sense that someone is falling because he represents this deep emotion. Definitely, they could be. And I feel be. like someone's falling over there. They could um, be in the process, sense. exactly. Um, there is romantic feelings involved here. What might begin as lust might actually eventuate and end up in uh, as love here. So you've definitely got a good starting point here. Knight of Wands, I mean, they've got quite... Um, there's a lot of energy here, okay? A lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy here. This is someone who definitely wants to get to know you. This is someone who wants to do the chasing, okay? So this is someone who's actually enticed by the thrill of the chase, by the hunt. So if you're playing hard to get, you're definitely playing their game here. This is someone who's, um, they're interested in courting you here, okay? So for them, um, you know, the whole thrill of the hunt, thrill of the chase here is something that intrigues them. You've got the seven of wands. I feel like your person here is, I'm not sure what, what it is, but I'm seeing resistance around their energy here. Um, maybe your person is someone who, although they want to, you know, explore this connection and get to know you a little bit deeper, you might find that your person is not someone who is, um, like, for example, they may not want to do things the conventional way, so they may not necessarily want to put a title to this, okay? They're interested in, um, you know, uh, getting something started here, but they may not necessarily actually want a relationship or something long-term, or at the very least, maybe what they want to do is because of all of this water energy is just to test the waters for now. The Nine of Pentacles here, um, you do have someone who I feel like this person is very confident of themselves. They're very confident in how they come across to you here. They're also confident that they, you know, 
you're interested in them and they're interested in you. I feel like this person is really confident in what the two of you have together here. I'm also seeing that this is someone who likes to, um, this is someone who presents really well and I feel like your person, their energy here is someone who takes very good care of themselves, like appearance and, you know, um, they're immaculate here in their presentation of work and how they project themselves. The King of Cups, you did say that, you know, you suspect that they may be, you know, mm. this is someone who is falling in love. Mm -hmm. Um could very well be. I mean, the King of Cups is someone who is very emotionally mature and very emotionally um, intelligent here. So, yeah, you could find yourself that this is someone who, as I've said, wants to explore the depths of this connection. So that could mean for some of you that, hey, this person is catching feelings, okay? They've yeah, got the feels here. Feel They're falling it. in love. Mm. The Two of Wands, this is someone who actually, I feel like, um, this person, like I said, they may not actually want to put a tile to it, but doesn't necessarily mean that they don't want something with you because I do feel like this person is somehow going to play a very significant role in your future. So I did say it could be a twin flame connection, meaning that this person could be in and out of your life. But for the meantime, I do, that this, I do see that this is someone who's actually um, is going to, they have plans here. So I see that this person has is making future plans, like emotional dinner date, uh, intimate dinner dates, mm. they have plans to take you out here. So they're incorporating you into their future. So this is your person's current energy and what they're up to. We're going to shift over to you here and take a look at your ex's energy, right? Yeah, let's have a look at your ex. Let's spy on them. What are they thinking, feeling? What are they doing? Okay, for the Leos and Aries watching, you've come up for your ex. Okay. All right. I get the sense that there's someone here that's still hung up about you or still hung up on you. Okay, they're not sleeping well. They're not being able to reconcile what's been going on between the both of you. Okay, they're thinking about you a lot. King of Swords is very much a thinker. And when I see these two cards together, I feel like your ex is in distress. Okay, they're not sleeping well. They could be missing you, especially if you guys used to sleep together and, you know, used to cuddle up and stuff. They're definitely feeling lonely. Okay, they're feeling lonely and they're feeling the loss. Okay, I get the sense that there's anxiety or depression here for some of you. It gets okay. worse during the night. It gets worse during the night. Fire signs, what have you done to this person? They're seriously not coping well. Okay, um, a lot of like... They're trying to piece together things. Um, now, I feel like with the King of Swords, there's someone here who wants to reach out. They may. They may do this. Okay, they may write you a letter or send you a text. They want, they, they want to get something off their chest. So I feel like they want to talk and they want to reconcile in, in some aspect here. They're a little bit all over the place. Um, I don't see your ex attached to anyone right now. I feel like with the fool, they're sort of like um, just going with the flow. Uh, they don't really know what they want right now, so there's a disorientating energy around them. They're not really sure where to go. Some days they feel stronger than others. Other days they feel a little bit foolish. Um, they might, there may be a sense with the full card that they're like throwing themselves into new things like activities or sports or doing something here. And I do want to mention that the full is, is a very impressionable energy. So it could very well indicate that right now this person is being very easily influenced by the people or the friends around them. And it could be like their friends are saying, you know, hey, come on, let's, let's do this. Let's get you out of the house. Let's do X, Y, and Z. The want behind it may not be there. There may not be much desire to do those activities. They're sort of going with it. Why? Because they feel like maybe they're being pressured from their friends. Their friends are noticing this sort of depressing energy. And you know what? They're saying, come on, enough is enough. Um, we have to get you we have to get you out of that kind of energy. So there's definitely someone here who's not coping well. Um, I do want to say in some aspect, they're working on their strength though. So this could be psychological strength. They could be going to counseling. Um, maybe they're talking to someone that they're, they're seeking support. It could be that they're working on their gym routine, their health and fitness. So, oh, my cards are crooked. That's better. <laughs> um, so, I get the sense that that's something that they're working on um, and they're really trying to focus on on that okay they're really trying to strengthen some things um we've got the infinity symbol here which makes me think that this person feels like they're forever linked to you somehow maybe they're they're not over you um and they feel that there is a cycle 
Okay, there's someone feels like they're going through cycles here. Your ex is like they're either going through a good cycle of strength and then they like regress in a way and they take a few steps back. Some of you have your ex drinking or drinking again. Okay, this is like you know, alcohol is a depressant, and if you know someone's being a little bit careless with their drinking, it could be a way they're trying to help themselves sleep at night or they're trying to forget so they go out with their friends, but in the end, they just feel a little bit foolish. And then they go home and it's like, okay, well, what have I done? Has has this accomplished anything for me? So um, I get there's there's a really a scattered energy. They don't really know what they want right now. And you've definitely, especially the Aries and the Leos watching, you know, you've really done something powerful to this person. Sag, you're not here, but that doesn't mean you haven't affected your ex, okay? That I, I can certainly attest to them missing life without you um, because I'm sure you injected so much fun um, and so much adventurism into your connection and they're really they're struggling they're struggling to build a bridge and get over it is what I want to say so I don't know what you've done um, but you've obviously done something that they're still really affected spellbound a spellbound yeah great way to put it um, and they're trying to work on themselves with the Sun okay the Sun is the self our Sun signs um, they're trying to do things for themselves. Trying to stay strong. Trying to right? stay strong, they get that yeah. Too. But it's, you know, it can only happen for some time until they have to get into an energy where they really need to think about things mm -hmm. rationally and they need to process things. I get the sense that they've been doing the processing, but it's been happening more in the nighttime, especially in the evenings, is when they're like in that kind of energy. Uh, but really interesting reading fire signs. It is. We, I mean, we explored your current energy as well as your ex's energy. Yeah. So, so two, two for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, two different connections. We hope you have enjoyed it. If you would like a private reading with the both of us, please feel free to email uh, me. I'll list my email below. Um, don't forget to put Tarot Twins in the subject line. Uh, and then we can go ahead and arrange one for you. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Thank um, you so much thank for you tuning guys in. for tuning in, for watching, for listening. Thank you for your support. We will, of course, be sharing with you more Tarot Love messages by the Tarot Twins. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now. Thank you.